Hey people, okay, a lot of people out there wondering, why does my neck hurt, why does my back hurt, why do I have neck pain, why do I have back pain, alright, I'm going to break it down like if you came into the office, and we're going to keep it real simple like, alright, we got a couple of posters here, Jeez, I don't know if you can see that with the reflection, let me turn out the light, more light, less light, okay, that's the natural sunlight coming in, maybe you can see that better now, alright, there we go. You see how the brain connects to every organ, every cell, every tissue in the body. And up here we're talking about subluxation on this poster. What is subluxation? Subluxation. All right. Sub is less. Lux is light. So we got less light. We turned off the light. We got less light. All right. So electrical transmission from the brain to the body through the spine all right, is the light we're talking about, the electrons, the electrical transmission across the electrical system, uh, even photons potentially, uh, but you could see how the brain connects to every organ. And if we were to cut, say, the nerve from the spine and the brain to the heart, what would happen? You'd probably die, all right? Not good. So what happens if we pinch that nerve? Like if you get a little kink in your spine around here, up here, T1, T2, 3, 4, uh, perhaps your heart isn't beating at the right rate. Perhaps it's going faster. Uh, your blood pressure is raising. You can see how this could affect physiology. All right. Now, if you got a, a nerve pinched to your heart or your liver, you're not necessarily going to feel pain and know about it. 90% of the spinal nerves do not transmit pain. So, yeah, uh, you may not even know that you got a kink or a subluxation, a locked up vertebrae, a joint that's not moving through a full range of motion. So we're working on your joints here in chiropractic. Why? Because it can really affect your nervous system. If you got a joint that's not moving through a full range of motion, it can build up inflammation around the nerve and then pinch the nerve. Okay, so I got another poster here. Let's see if you guys how good you can see this one. I'll zoom in and you can zoom in, I guess, further, but it's spinal decay. And on the left here, if you could see my laser pointer, can you see that? Hopefully you can see that. Can you see that? Tiny little laser. Where's my laser? Where my laser be at? Is it picking up on this camera? I hope so. Well, if it's not, I got a, me a regular pointer too. All right, so I don't have to be fancy with the laser. But you can see here a normal neck from the side, a degenerated neck, phase one, phase two, and phase three. So this is the breakdown as your neck gets worse. You can see the skull, vertebrae one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In between the vertebrae, the black spaces are the discs. We want big black spaces, grande discs. A normal neck should have a nice curve. Okay, so here you can see the jaw and the skull, and this is the shoulder. So this is the back of the neck and the front of the neck. So you should have a nice curve from front to back. And you can see as the spine decays, loss of curve, narrowing of the disc spaces. So the discs shrink. Once the head comes forward and the neck straightens out, uh, there's going to be a lot more pressure on the discs. And then we start to see changes in the bone shape through Wolf's Law. Here's a nice square, beautiful vertebrae. Here you can see there's an arch forming in the vertebrae. Sometimes the vertebrae will compress and shrink down, and that's never good. We want big, fat vertebrae, big, fat disc spaces, so the nerves can come out. The nerve holes are here in the back. So if we got a lot of room for the nerve, then uh, it's less likely to be pinched. But as the discs shrink, we have more of a predisposition, more likelihood that uh, you're going to have pinched nerves. Here you can see this neck it is completely straight and the discs have shrunken to the point where some of them are actually gone and the bones are starting to fuse together. This is phase three. We call this irreversible uh, arthritis is what we're talking about, right? So irreversible arthritis in your neck. Bad stuff you don't want to get here. If you get, if you're here already, you may not be able to uh, find relief. We may just keep you from getting worse. Maybe your pain will stay there forever. Uh, you might even become paralyzed. You might be feeling numbness, tingling in your hands, that kind of thing, pretty common with this condition. Uh, and of, of course, it's going to affect every organ, every cell, every tissue in the body. We need clear communication between the brain and the body, the body and the brain, obviously. And down here, we see mid back and lower back. And it's the same kind of thing. We want big, fat disc spaces. Uh, a nice square vertebrae, a nice curve, beautiful lower back, and you can see down here, L5 is completely pretty much gone. Uh, you see that? Not happy. Not a lot of room for the nerve. It's going to be a lot of problems. Here we see tech neck. All right, the skull, the jaw, obvious, and the neck is curving reversed. You got a reverse curve, 
maybe if we catch it early enough, we could get your curve back. I got my curve back, all right? Stella got her groove back. I got my curve back, all right? So here's a little bit of a spine model, right? You can see nice, big, fat, normal disc. You see where the whole, the foramen for the nerve to come out. And you can even see the spinal cord in this one. From the top, we see a nice, normal disc. Over here, we're getting some degener degeneration from the top. You see the disc is starting to bulge out a little bit. It's even seen on the side. The nerve is being pinched in the foramen by that red bulging nerve, right? Because the discs are shrinking. The height of the disc is shrunken. Um, once a disc completely shrinks, like there in the pictures, you can see tiny disc. You start getting bone spurs. Now we have official osteoarthritis. Um, usually it gets worse from here. The bones are changing shape. The bones are shrinking. Not good, according to Wolf's Law. So, is it reversible? Is it preventable? Yes, yes, and yes. Uh, get to your chiropractor if you want to reverse it. You got a lot of work to do. You're going to have to see him pretty often. There's your herniated disc. Uh, not good, but you know, certainly chiropractic can help with a lot of these conditions. If you got one of these, all right, if you got a spine, we'll keep it moving. Keeping it moving is the healthiest thing we can do for you. Now, in a lot of those videos, you see fancy moves like ring dingers, and I'm dropping the drop table. We're moving the skull right there on top of the atlas, number one vertebrae. Very important in this area, as you can see right there, is the brain stem, and what we're trying to affect is the autonomic nervous system. Basically, two modes of the autonomic nervous system are parasympathetic dominant or sympathetic dominant. And the difference is fight or flight, where you can't rest, you can't relax, you're running from a tiger, you're running on adrenaline. And the opposite is, you know, rest and digest, parasympathetic dominant, where you can calm down and the body can heal. So that's where we need you to be. I know, you, you know, we're, we're talking about joints and, and necks and cracking necks and neck and back pain here. But the reality is, uh, communication between the brain and the body so the body can heal. We relax the body, the body starts healing, we get you out of that fight or flight. Most important thing we can do, uh, of course, there's other ways to do it, but once you're in a loop, once you got pinched nerves and arthritis, you know, at this point, you're probably going to need some help. The yoga and the hot, you know, tub is probably not going to uh, clear you out. You know, you tried the massage, you tried it all. Now, you know, try, you tried the rest, try the best, come to chiropractic. I'm here in Monterey, California. Uh, we'd be happy to get you in and get you a nice uh, adjustment. Hopefully, we can change your life and get you onward and upward to achieve your goals. Questions, thoughts, comments, hit me up down below. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it helped uh, explain some things, what's going on in your spine, what you're worried about, why you're having pain, uh, what's that clicking noise, a lot of questions. Come on in with your specific questions and we'll get them all answered. Until then, people... Let me get in front of the field of light sign here. <laughs> Until then, peace!